Palov removed the legendary sword from the stone just to put it inside a friendly guard. He was arrested and publicly executed under the charges of being an asshole. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sonic Cat. First, we're going to take a blind look at a, a game you probably have never heard of and kind of do a little mini review on the first 30 minutes. This game is called Reventure. We're just going to start. I honestly don't know much about it, besides the fact that their tagline or their kind of catchphrase was that this game had like a hundred different endings that you could possibly end up on. So we're just going to kind of skip into the actual gameplay of Year One, Day One, Reventure. Oh, gamepad. Hold on, I got one of those. Good morning, Tim. The king is waiting for you outside. Well, hey, that's that's great that the king... Whoop. This is kind of bizarre a little bit. We made it to the chimney. The castle chimney. Oh, we can go down into the chimney? Tim jumped into the chimney, ready to share the spirit of Christmas and gift copies of Reventure. Everyone loved the game and left an 11 out of 10 review on the Steam community page. Subliminal message, we got ending 30 of 100. That was an ending. Only 95.66% of heroes made it this far. Year one, day 61. After receiving the overwhelming reviews from everyone about this game, Tim was filled with motivation and ready for a new quest. Okay, so we still have not visited the king. Hold on. Okay, so don't go down the chimney again, because that was... That was a thing. That was... Okay, the screen... I see a, a spooky castle in the background. The, we're in the princess's room, stealing all her shit. Mr. Hogs unlocks the hidden powers of love, but forbids the use of violence. What did we get? You got Mr. Hogs. Oh, I can now give hugs. Wait. I think we just got an ending. Right after adopting Paul Love, Tim kept filling his heart with the love of missing cats. Unfortunately, he also filled his throat with hairballs and eventually choked to death in his bed. Feline Company ending 11. So we get an ending and then time passes. Every cat in the kingdom cried for the loss of Tim. Paul Love swore to take over his will and prepared for a new adventure. We're playing as a cat now. What? This game is fucking bonkers. Oh, I found a guy. It's dangerous to go alone. Sword of legend, light is the wind in the hands of a worthy hero. I got a sword, it's the cat. Oh, I can, oh, oh, that was a secret. Wait, I'm gonna climb to the top of the mountain. Is that an ending? Aha! No, that's not an ending. That's actually kind of a bummer. I'm gonna go kill that enemy out there. Can I murder this guy? Ooh. Ooh, the cat just murdered him. Paul Love was so eager to try his new sword, he couldn't wait for some minion to appear and stab the elder at the other end of the cave. He also stole his wallet. What a moron. It's dangerous to be near Paul. That was the ending number one. Well, hey, at least we got the first one. Paul have spent a long time in prison for that murder. After being released back into the streets, he considered changing his name in the options menu to improve his personal brand. What happens if I murder the guards? That's an ending, I think. I think I, think I just went back to jail. I'm gonna be honest, I think I just probably went back to jail. Or got murdered. Palov removed the legendary sword from the stone just to put it inside a friendly guard. He was arrested and publicly executed under the charges of being an asshole. Public enemy ending four of 100. Palov was a psycho and got what he deserved. The day after his execution, his brother decided to pick up where he left, where he left off and fulfill the prop. Is he a parrot? What am I playing as? Oh, so I, I just tripped over the, I tripped over the stone. That day, Tinku tripped over a rock right after leaving his house and fell right on his face. The guard in front really questioned if this was indeed the hero the kingdom needed. 
shit happens, and then two of a hundred. Such a stupid fall. Tikru's face looked flatter than before, and that's really saying something, given how pitch late it was already. He's gonna watch his step. The guard is still dead. What if I hug the guard? Wow, that's that's its own ending. Of course it is. Tikru jumped to the arms of the guard. but landed on the spear he was wielding. The guard didn't move an inch as Tiku's heart was impaled. How professional. Broken heart, ending 19 of 100. I like how there's one less guard out there. Hello. That felt like the right thing to do. All hail King Tiku. We have ascended to the throne. As the previous ruler finished his term, the kingdom entered an era of prosperity. Oh, I just died. Quite brief. Because Tinku's idea quickly became popular. King Slayer, and then five of a hundred. So you can kind of see, kind of see where the Tinku the Brief recovered from his injuries of the murder attempt. To spare his life, he swore loyalty to the new king, much to his humil hum humiliation. I think I have to go find the sword again. Oh, it's a new king, though. Okay, let's actually go outside. Let's get the sword and actually go outside. I think one of those pictures is me, maybe? No, maybe it's the king. Maybe it's the king and the second king. I don't really know. Okay, I don't know where we're going, but I'm, I'm really into it suddenly. We're in a secret volcano. You got the lava trinket. I can't jump up there anymore. Can I go, can I stand in lava now that I have the lava trinket? Okay, that does seem to be what happens. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, okay. We've extended a lava bridge of some kind. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just knocked these, okay, yeah. yeah. Now we're making, now we're making some actual progress. Oh, okay. This is secret. Oh, now we're in like an ice cave. Or I guess just water filled cave. It's, I don't think it's ice. I have my sword ready to go. As to what we're currently doing, I don't know. Oh, I can cut through this. I found another secret. There's a barn here. Wait, what did that say? Please stop using this barn for dirty business. We, where's the other part of the sign? Store food in this place. I cut the sign in half and it cut the message in half. That's actually brilliant. That is extremely clever. Ah, we missed the, yeah, see? Oh no, I cut an app before I read it. Caution. What's the other half say? Piranhas. I, um. I cannot jump high enough. I think because we have too much stuff. Wow, that's a bummer. Tinku really went berserk on that minion. He kept stabbing it for days until it became a pond of purple goo. Why, Tinku? Why? Where does such immense hate for such an adorable creature come from? I got both. That was an ending. Tinku returned home after fulfilling his random revenge against that minion. Time to get back to adventure. Hello? We're at the shop? Hello. I'm totally 100% out of stock. Hey. Oh, you're not out of stock. I found a secret. You got the nuclear warhead. I don't know anything. I don't know how to open the mysterious door. It's very mysterious.
and I'm carrying so much stuff, I lose jump height. And I can now no longer get up there. The cannon is aimed at Dark Fortress for express delivery. Please don't touch it. Oh! Well, that's inconvenient. After getting tired of the traditional adventure tactics, Tinku decided to take a more direct approach to destroying the Dark Lord and just nuclear bombed him. It was super effective. We did it! Tinku couldn't rest knowing they had rebuilt the fortress in just a month. This time he tackled the root of the problem. I see. So that's how they get around that. Also, it makes sense now as to why you don't come back with your gear. Because, you know, you're losing jump height and stuff, and so you're gonna need to make choices about what you take and don't take with you. And so that's why they reset it. So it does make sense. What is this? A bomb. What? Can I blow myself up? Yes. Tinku was such a curious hero. That day he thought, what would happen if I stayed close to this bomb while it explodes? That is actually exactly what I wondered. Several burns and shrapnel fragments all over his body happened. The painful shrapnel fragments in Tinku's skin really helped waking up early the next day. Oh, we're all burned! Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wrap up there. This game is actually hilarious. The writing is really funny. The tropes are there. The, uh, you know, for the completionist, when you want to go through and get all the 100 endings, I'm sure this game would take you hours to do that. And I can see why it actually has such high reviews on Steam right now. Uh, just to try and get all the endings and the secrets seems like it would be a, a labor of love. It doesn't seem like it would be a ton of work, honestly. And it's just nice to play a game that obviously does not take itself seriously at all every now and again. And that's kind of this. So, ReVenture right now is uh, normally about eight bucks, but right now it's on sale for like four and a half dollars. And for four and a half dollars, you you would you can do much worse than reventure for four and a half bucks. Uh, honestly, this game has been a lot of fun to play, and I'm at ten percent right now, and I got ten endings. So it seems like all the secrets are just gonna be the ending, so you don't have to worry about like maybe there's a secret unless that percentage goes above a hundred percent, like Binding of Isaac. Um, it should just be you get the hundred endings, you have the game fully completed. But you know who knows? They could have some secret stuff in there. But anyway, that game was fun. I really enjoyed playing it, and I would recommend that if you're in, into this sort of thing and you really want to do a completionist kind of a game, definitely check this one out because it's just, it's, uh, it was funny. I was, I was laughing that whole time. Uh, just the, the, the pure silliness of the game is, is what makes it really good. Uh, anyway, so we're going to wrap up there. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. You know, enjoy talking to you guys about games. Until next time, burn bright, everybody.